Story is set be up between seasons two and three. Welcome back to 2012. No pony peeing head for realist image, the most explicit one of all this visual novel. Warning, this game contains mature humor, unsuitable for children, uh, immature humor, which may be in unsuitable for some adults, uh, fourth wall breaking, which is unsuitable for houses, and ponies, because, I mean, that's kind of obvious. Alright, hopefully I have the sound here good. It's been a while since I've done this, especially on something I actually want some sound to come through. And I don't know how much of the music will be relevant, but this is a pretty sick remix of, um, I think the Will Willy Wonka theme. I like it. <laughs> okay, so hey there everyone, it has been a long while. A good long while. Uh, but someone sent me this today, uh, they messaged me a little bit ago and mentioned that I inspired them to finish My Little Pony Super Ethical Shipping Climax, which was amazing to me. I mean, that was probably my biggest complaint when I made a lot of videos about pony things, was I always found it frustrating that no one finished anything, and I get it, right? Like, not only is game creation difficult, but game creation that you know that you can ever sell is especially difficult. Um... Because probably once you uh, once you learn the tools to make a game, you'll either realize that making games are hard, and it's fine if that's not what you want to do, or you realize that it's what you want to do and you want to make a game that people of a broader audience can enjoy and that you can actually sell, right? The game that you can put on Steam. But it is super special to me that I inspired someone to actually finish a project, finish a game. They went through with it, uh, and it's been so long. I barely remember it. Uh, also, I hope that, uh, the person who made the game enjoys this. I am just so excited. Uh, so let's check the about section first. Okay, nothing too exciting there. I know there's something exciting in the preferences here. Uh, so we have all the usual how these work, text speed, auto forward. Uh, he, over here though, what what is Tabanart? No, I didn't even know, I didn't even expect Tabarnak. Tar Tabernak. Didn't expect to see that. There is however an English option. Um, I think I, I might even have to record this twice to go over the English option, because I kind of want to see that. It sounds amazing. It's apparently something we brought up in our original video, jokingly, and they were like, that would be amazing. I like that. That's some forward thinking. I think, I think every game should come with an English option. <laughs> Uh, but I, I want to get a good idea of what the story is about, so let's, uh, jump into it. I hope you're all excited. I am so excited. <laughs> Giant pointy pony head! I'm Colgate. Welcome to the realm between our worlds. Wait, like the Colgate and My Little Pony? Am I dreaming or something? It, it, this really is set between season 2 and 3. When's the last time I've seen Colgate? I feel like... I guess I've seen her, but I feel like she, she was one of those characters, like, you know, that had a lot more going on during games. For whatever reason, people really liked Colgate during this era. Like, I feel like Colgate was in a lot of games as, like, because she had, like, an hourglass in her butt, and she was also a... Uh, Adorable. <laughs> Not at all. Trixie just left. I'm gonna take care of you. You know about the let's change you into a red pony and have some special fun with Ponyville inhabitants and stuff. Wrong game. <laughs> no, 
nice. I was curious. Nice reference. <laughs> Pretty on the nose, but I like it. Um, so, I will change you into one of the main six instead, and then I will send you into Ponyville and... and... Please calm down and do your stuff. I will see what happened myself. <laughs> Am I already in English mode? <laughs> Who do you want to be? I'll have white teeth. Nice. Oh, wow. I get to choose? Uh, well, it's obvious, isn't it? Is there even a doubt at who I'm gonna pick? It's fucking Rainbow Dash, guys. I wanna be Rainbow Dash. So, you're Rainbow Dash now. Really? Yes, look at yourself in the mirror. What mirror? It's too dark in here. Oops, my bad. I'll send you to Ponyville then. See you soon. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a pretty sweet introduction if I'm gonna be honest. Oop. Hey, who are you? Why is it so dark there? I am the narrator, and you're in a transition between two screens. Now, let's stop meta-talking. <laughs> but d I fucking love the meta-talking, though. It's the best. What do... Never mind. Holy shit. <laughs> I really don't remember this game looking anything like this. I wonder how much it's changed. Where am I? A stock photo with some filter on it? How original. Is it even supposed to look like Ponyville? The stream is really messed up and bad. Ah, uh, where do I go? Obviously I go to my own house, right? Let's go to my own house. Pegasus, you're easily able to fly to Rainbow's Cloud. Wings are useful. Rainbow Dash was a good choice for going into her own house. Rainbow Dash is there, searching something under her bed. She apparently hasn't seen you yet. What are you going to do? Uh... <laughs> Let's just go up and talk to Rainbow Dash as Rainbow Dash. I'm sure that won't be awkward. Hey, Rainbow, you need any help? Sure. D sure do you. Wait, what? Stands up, turns around, and sees you. Hey, I didn't hear you coming. It's always a pleasure to welcome true fans to my lair. True fans? Lair? Yeah, look at you. You're like my clone. You even got my cutie mark right. And my rainbow cloud? I'm not the heroine the city needs, but the one this city deserves. Aw, dude. Man, I miss old Rainbow Dash. I feel like I haven't seen Rainbow Dash this cool in a while. You watched Batmare too much. Aw, oh, come on. She's the best. But she's so awesome! Hey, I didn't catch your name. Can you make one of my dreams come true and call me Rainbow Dash? <laughs> it's a very specific dream. I like Rainbow Dash a lot, but even I don't think my dream is to meet Rainbow Dash and have her call me Rainbow Dash. <laughs> this is giving me so much nostalgia though. I kind of love it. Hopefully that doesn't overshadow the actual game. It's just, it's been so long since I've played a game like this. And it feels so good, right? Like, there is none of the cynicism of the newer seasons or what people feel about the newer seasons. This is just true pony classic action. Oh, I almost forgot, and I will definitely put this in the description, might put it into a few other places, um, I'm probably gonna be too, I'm probably gonna forget to put this at the beginning of the video, unfortunately, but, uh, cause my, <laughs> I am all about that forgetting stuff, but thank you so, so much to Caramel Truffle, Caramel Truffle, however you want your name said, Thank you so much for sending me this game. It is so freaking hype of you to do that. Finishing the game, sending me the game, thank you. It means a lot. It really, really does. And I hope you had fun making it. I like doing all the updates. Um, 
and just in general, I hope you had fun making it. Um, and yeah, I'll just keep playing the game. I don't really know what else to say. It's just, it's cool. I feel, I feel good. <laughs> you really are a true fan. I like that. Okay, but only for today. Tomorrow I'll call you by your real name, deal? Deal. Are you just passing by dashing? Or do you need something? <laughs> I'm not scared to call me dashy, even though that's cuter and I kind of wouldn't mind, like... I feel like it'd be weird to be called Rainbow Dash. It would also be weird to call be called dashy because that's not at all related to any of my online or offline name, but... I would rather be called Dashy if I were to be called one or the other. I was wondering if you could help me with something. And what can the awesome Rainbow Dash do for you? In fact, I was thinking of asking help to be cooler. Cooler? Yeah, I need to be about 20% cooler. That sentence has been overused, you know? Sorry, oh, Rainbow Dash. But it never goes out of style. Anyway, do you think you could help? Well, there's one easy way to handle that. I can't guarantee its results, though. I also appreciate, um... I, I obviously recognize these pointy pony sprites, but I appreciate the, that she has some, like... Facial transitions, that's always something I appreciate in a in a visual novel experience, is when characters don't have the same expression through a whole conversation. And what would it be? Let me put you in context first. Imagine you wanted to seem nicer, you know, the principle of the lovely item, right? Something cute that makes you look like a nice pony. Like a plushie or a young kid. <laughs> I mean, I get the idea. Somehow that seems like an odd way to take this sentiment, though. It, it is, like, definitely a trope. But, I don't know, can you imagine someone being like, I got this kid here with me to make myself look cuter? <laughs> It sounds really weird, doesn't it? Like, I specifically brought this item to look cute. I mean, I guess... I mean, it doesn't sound as weird if it's a plushie, right? It still might sound a little weird um, if you outright state it, but it sounds real less weird than a child. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's the same thing to look cooler instead of nicer. A cool item, if you will. And you have a cool item I could borrow? Of course. Wait, here. She went somewhere else in her cloud looking for something before coming back with a pair of sunglasses. Aw, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Rainbow Dash knows what I need. Also, I don't even think I commented on her room. It looks a lot better than outside does, but it also looks nothing like her house. I kind of love it. Like, it looks closer, I guess I'll say. Except for the window. Is that the- is that- I just noticed that- is that the fucking cataclysm outside? <laughs> does Rainbow Dash have the post-apocalypse outside her window? <laughs> That's pretty fucking metal. They're the coolest glasses in all of Equestria. Thank you, Dashy. You are a lifesaver. Saved a cool pair of sunglasses. Well, I hope you'll tell me what this is all about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, it was fun and all, but I promised Derpy I would go train myself with her today, so I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day. You are really awesome. Yeah, yeah, but please, don't go near with... Uh, us with these. I'll explain to you tomorrow. No problem. See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs> Invited you to leave before doing so herself. Then you went back to Ponyville Crossroad with her pair of cool sunglasses and wait. And carry the items that ponies give you. Well, I mean, a lot of those, there's the meta weird pocket things. Though I think for sunglasses, I mean... Just shove one on your face, right? 
even then, I guess there's the question of how do ponies wear sunglasses? Because I in the show, I they always I feel feel like I remember the glasses always go under the ears, but obviously it's on how glasses go. I kind of they probably would have looked weird, but I half wish that um. The show had, like, a more special designed items, like glasses that went over the pony's ears or something. I don't know, I'm just be I'm just rambling at this point. Maybe that's just me. How, how do you guys feel? Would you rather have, like, normal glasses or over-the-ear, like, weird specialized glasses for ponies and stuff like that? You don't want to know. Oh, apparently I I don't want to know. I heard nothing. Where should I go now? Well, Applejack said I shouldn't meet her again, unfortunately. Mm. Twilight is cool. Let's go to Applejack. Applejack and... and... Well, let's go to Applejack, I say as I click on Sugar Cube Corner. I really must be, uh, out of it. I blame the modern show, even though they, they still kind of have their own old things. But, I mean, when's the last time we saw a good old Sugar Cube Corner? Maybe more recently than I think, honestly. Who knows? As soon as they arrive in the bakery, a pink pony... Wait, where is Pinkie Pie? Well, Pinkie Pie is good, too. She and Rainbow Dash are a good fit. There she is. I don't think so. Let's try the kitchen, maybe? Also... <laughs> you come to the... Oh my god, what's this? Amazing, I already love it. I also love her the, the, <laughs> the kitchen. It's a lot- this is a lot worse than Rainbow Dash. I think Rainbow Dash's house is probably the best we're gonna get. <laughs> oh shit, she's got a mustache. Welcome to our new Alicorn! Wait, you did not choose to be an Alicorn, but simply Rainbow Dash? She's fast, awesome, cool, but you do realize that you could have been an Alicorn with great powers and all that? I did not even try to be one. Why would I? I'm fucking Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie. Jeez. Wait, you too? Couldn't you act normally? Normally? According to you, or according to the norm of an unknown part of the players, are expecting me to act. And either a narrator shouldn't talk to his characters, <laughs> Either way, a narrator shouldn't talk to his characters. That's disrespectful to the laws of tales telling. That's- I disagree. I think a good narrator in a good story, in a funny story, well, it, it, I think a narrator in the right story can talk to his characters. I'm all down. Fine, fine, but I warned you. You warned us? About what? Do you even proofread yourself before releasing demos? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, Pinky, is there a reason for the mustache? No, it's not because I mustache you a question. This joke has already been done. I said nothing. I wasn't talking to you. Anyway, it's because I always wear a mustache when baking sugar cube pies. But I can take it off. Okay, it's pretty funny. I freaking love- uh, so Once again, I'm just in love with the classical version of these characters- Oh my god! Her cutie mark is coming off, dude! I love it. That's <laughs> fucking... Giving the cat face. Sorry, I felt like it that much. But why are you there? Do you want a cupcake or a muffin? Wait, let me guess? You don't want a sugar- you don't- You don't have a sugar cube, but you don't need a muffin for the moment. I guess that you want a cupcake, don't you? Mm. <laughs> okay, this one, I have to, right? I don't remember if it's a good idea, but, uh... I don't remember this game very well, but come on. 
Though, to be fair, out of these, if I'm being more quote-unquote serious, I would probably ask for the mustache, because that's pretty funny. But I want to see what Pinkie Pie says. I want you. I want the best candy in town. You. Oh, silly. You don't need to use a pickup line to get me. So, should I get the whipped cream? <laughs> Where's your mustache? I never wear a mustache when I play with whipped cream. Never said that I wanted to use whipped cream. You want the best candy in town, right? How can a candy be the best without it? I don't really consider putting candy and whipped cream together. For me, that's more of like a cake or a pie sort of thing, which I don't really call candy. You may have a point. Apparently, the me in the game disagrees, though. And both of you went all kisu kisu with the whipped cream and all. That's surprisingly cute. That sounds so... don't say it. Pinky ending one. Nice. You reach the end. Good for you. But there's more to see. Except if you've already seen everything. But you wouldn't read the credits anymore. Unless you really like us. That's a great proof of love. Thank you. Love? I would have to say stupidity. Shh, here it comes. Nice. See there, there's uh, Car Caramel Truffle and presumably his cute OC pony. Anyways, uh, I, I guess we'll end it off there. I didn't realize that the endings were so easy to get. Might do multiple endings an episode though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do lots of this. Um, had a lot of fun. Let's see. Ah oh, shoot! I feel like I missed a very a lot of important things. I'll make sure to read through. These are all auto going, uh, but I'll make sure to read through that next time. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of endings. Um. So, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I think, but hopefully, hopefully that was fun. I had a lot of fun recording part one. I'll take a closer look at the credits next time. Uh, that, was, that was fucking, that was some great nonsense. I look forward, I'm not gonna, um, I guess I'll have to switch back and forth because there's, I'm not going to do English mode immediately next time. I think I'll visit all of the main six at least once. And then I'll revisit them all again with English mode on. Like, just trying out a bunch of different random things. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time.